Hello everyone, I'm so Mongery, and I'd like to welcome you back to more Shovel Knight Spectre of Torment. In this episode, we are going to continue on where we left off, but first, we're going to check out the feats. So here are the feats. I believe these are sort of like the achievements. I had a request to look at these. So I'm just going to scroll through them really quick. I'm not even going to read them. If you want to read them, go ahead and pause it at any time. And then we are going to jump back into the game. Seems like there's quite a bit of them. So there they are. Real nice. Alright, let's get this started. Super excited to jump back into this game. I love it. I'm currently taking a break from Breath of the Wild. I had a great live stream yesterday. Went for 8 hours. So I plan on doing that again tonight. Which is going to be epic. I love that game. That game is great. Really, really good. Alright, so... Move. There we go. That intro is really cool. Yeah, I encourage you guys to come over to the live stream. It's a lot of fun. I'm not going to be posting the videos with commentary to the YouTube channel because Twitch's quality is awful for me since I'm not a partner over there. But I am recording the gameplay by itself while I go because I have a splitter and I have an extra or an older recording card, capture card. So I'm bringing a guide to you guys. Anyways, for those of you guys that want me to shut up about Zelda and get into Spectre Knight, here we go. We're going through the Dark Portal, or the Dark Mirror. Ooh, look at this. So you can pick where you want to go? Wow, this is different. This is a lot different. You know what? Let's say hi to Plague Knight. My lord, are you prepared to visit... The Exploratorium. Yes, I am. Oh, I was going to buy something else. No, I'm not. I changed my mind. Let me back. Ah so there's no world hub in this. We just teleport through the mirror. And here we are, looking at that pillar. Man, that pillar looks great. Just really nice architectural work there. Real nice. All right, here we go. Summon thy... Ooh, that's fire. I was not warned of that. Alright, so we're going to be fighting Plague Knight first. I figured we'd go to him. I didn't actually know that that worked like that. But yeah, I figured we would fight Plague Knight first since I had the option. And we played as him last time. Which was really cool. I don't know if he's the right option. But we're going to find out. It's sort of like a Mega Man fight now here. Which is interesting. You pick the bosses. It's a cool little twist. I like it. I like it. And it looks like this area is a lot different than it was before. Unless... I'm mistaken. I could be mistaken. But usually the area stays around the same. There's a pink skeleton. Huh. Alright, this looks like a secret up here. Secret, secret. I want a secret. Yeah, give me that loot. Real nice. Take him out. Man, I love this game so much. I'm happy you guys enjoy this game too. I love challenging platformers. It's like my thing. It's like what I really want to make videos for on YouTube is like the platformers, the challenging ones, and other ones too, just the fun ones as well. Because I love them. It is just the ultimate fun for me. I think it's because I grew up with the Super Nintendo. I love the Super. So good. I don't love rats. They are bad. And they were killing me. Yeah, my favorite Super Nintendo game as for like a platformer would have to be Mega Man X. Love that game. And I'm getting, like, crazy good at it. I haven't played it for a little bit, but I can beat it in, like, under an hour and a half. Which I think is pretty good for not being a speedrunner. Love that game. Let me know what your favorite game is that you guys are, like, super good at. That you're like, yeah, I can beat that, like, right away. With, like, oh, dying and stuff like that. Let me know. I'm curious to see what everybody, what everybody plays or what their favorite game is that they think they're really good at. And apparently I'm not really good at this. Because I just died at the first checkpoint. Going for that red skull. I really want it, though. The red skulls are very important in this game. Let's you upgrade your abilities and get new ones. Speaking of that, I haven't even used that thing. And I have a whole bunch of darkness to use it with. Wait. I don't think anything's back here. Nope. It's weird because you started the checkpoint, but you still have all the loot from before. Which is nice. I like how we just get, like, the crappiest food ever with Spectre Knight. He's a reaper, he doesn't need to eat good. 
poor Reaper, he's sitting there like, Can I get a steak, man? Uh, yeah, here's the bone of a steak. Oh, come on, guys, come on. It's like, what? You're the Reaper, that's what you like, right? Man, I'd hate to be the Reaper. You gotta fear the Reaper, but you hate to be him. One of those guys. Alright, we are going over. Water's kind of a pain. You can't tell me Plague Knight goes through all this. Because I played as Plague Knight. I would not have it. Mona wouldn't like it either. Alright, I want to get that skull. I almost died. No, let me go back. Will it let me go back? Okay, well. How am I going to do this? That doesn't do me any good. I think we're going to come back to that one when we can have a little bit more control with our ability. Jeez. Now that's more like Plague Knight. Yeah, I can exit my fall quicker. Wow. But I cannot jump where I really want to off of that climb. Wait, is this a... I can't get through there. I thought maybe I could. Okay. We're almost dead here. I really need... Ooh, there's that checkpoint. Oh! <gasps> yeah! Booyah! That is huge. Alright, ghosty, ghosty. The attacking is cool. With the enemies and stuff in this. I really like that. I can dig it. I think it's a nice little change of pace. You can use them as sort of a propeller or a slingshot. Not really a propeller. A propellant. No, that would be more like mosquito dope. Because mosquitoes, yeah, they be dope, man. They're the coolest, right? All right, I'm going for this because why not? Yeah. Holy crap. I didn't realize that was happening. Oh. I knew that was going to happen. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. That's okay, though. We got the red skull. We're moving on. Yeah, I think the levels are going to be Spectre Knight's downfall, in all honesty. I just have a feeling. Unless he gets something that, like, really changes that, that wall climb and jump. I just have a feeling it's going to be kind of his downfall and he's going to just dominate the bosses. He's more of a boss killer. Which makes sense because he's the Grim Reaper. I want my loot. Holy cow. I can still jump off of those when I choose. But I will eventually just jump by myself. I want that skull over there. I don't think... But the spikes are instant death. No. Okay, good. Kill that guy. Jeez. Getting spiked here. I don't like it. I don't like it, man. I don't like it. Gosh. Spikes still hurt even if I am undead. I wonder where that term undead comes from. Because I'm dead. I guess I'm still walking around, so I'm, I'm undead? I don't know. Maybe they couldn't think of anything else that was better. But I still feel like that doesn't really fit too well. I'm dead. I don't know. I would have to really think about that one. Really sit down. I'm sure it's fine because people have been using it forever. They refer to like zombies with it and stuff. Really? Oh, I got lucky there. Alright, we're not going to go down to Spike Town this time. Well, we have to go downward, but we're not going to even go for that. Maybe I should get that. That's an easy one to get. That's 250 loot. Yeah, that was a good, good decision. Now we're going down. A nice thing about this game is you can kind of just pick it up and play it. You don't really have to really practice it too much. Because I haven't played for a full day and I just jumped right into it. I did forget about my special. So that's a thing. I didn't forget about secrets though. Can I go up? Nope. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be a tough one. There's got to be a 
like an ability that you get that'll enhance that. I'm gonna try it one more time since we're right here. I really want these red skulls. I could care less about the money. Ah. Alright, one more time. One more time. I won't make you guys watch me try to get all the red skulls or anything like that. I'd like to get them though, because that's how you get the upgrades. Jeez, I'm not even making any progress here. Yeah. You must need something. Alright, we'll move on. Whoa. I don't think I can hurt that guy. This water is really holding me back. Wow, it goes right down? I don't know if Plague Knight was the best one to go to right away. He's got a lot of stuff where you need to be able to jump really high. And I don't have anything to jump high with yet. Love those guys, those minions. <laughs> They're so funny. The alchemy minions. What? Who's this dude? He looks like he'd be stronger than Plague Knight. Wow! He's a freaking beast! And I'm just destroying him. As long as I can keep that combo going. It says he's dead. I think he's glitched. He's got no HP on my screen. Oh, there we go. Barely beat him. That was a heck of a mini boss. Anything over here? Nope. I don't need. Oh, now I need it. I was gonna say I don't need this this roasted dead apple. And now I actually need it again. And I'm not gonna get it because I just ate it. Ah, oh, that's okay. We have a lot of money, so we are good to go. I will collect... Oh. Alright, I'm being a little sloppy there. I apologize. Jeez. No, I'm not paying attention. Just because I'm dead, I can't walk through those things. I gotta remember that. Stop. He kind of gets in like a wall run loop every once in a while too. Because you're already pushing to the right. And then he just kind of does it right away again. It's kind of like, if you ever played... Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. But if you ever played New Super Mario Bros. Sometimes you don't mean to wall jump. And you're wall jumping with Mario. You just meant to jump straight up. It's kind of like that. What's up, green guy? Oh, wow. We're just going to bypass him. Grab the loot, though. Yeah. I'm almost dead. I'm hoping a checkpoint here. Yeah. Called it. Alright, so... You just can't jump that high. Real nice. Ooh, and there's a ladder here? Oh, I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. I'm dead. Completely dead. Again. And still dead when I respawn. Spectre Knight's like Kenny. He can die, and then he comes back, and he's like, Ah, I'm back! And then he has to die again, eventually. It's a vicious cycle. And it's all because the user can't jump. Or is impatient. But don't blame me. What the heck? It's a freaking mimic! Man, I thought those were only an enter the gungeon, but I guess not.
So that guy didn't even give me anything. I went up there to die. Oh, you can just break through that? Cool. Now I know. I like how the apple core fills you up so much. If I ate an apple core in real life, I'd be like, alright, that sucked. And it didn't fill me up. What else we got to eat here? Uh oh. I'm a little worried about that. I think we're okay? <gasps> we're not! Oh, we were! Oh, I wasn't quick enough. I wasn't quick enough. Uh oh. Yeah, I can't wait till like episode like 10 when I'm just cruising with this guy when I got the good stuff. And you guys are all gonna be like, whoa! He's got the good stuff and he's so good! And you're gonna be like all impressed and stuff. Just can't wait for that. Oh my! Jeez. It's water. Gotta go up this way. Be careful here. I don't even care about my loot. Let's go. One of that checkpoint. Alright, so this is Plague Knight. Ooh, nice. If you haven't watched my Plague Knight playthrough, I recommend it. It's great. I usually don't say a lot of my playthroughs are like great, but that one is great. That, Shadow of the Colossus are like a two must watch on my channel, in my opinion. So here we go. Spectre Knight versus Plague Knight. What? <laughs> wow, someone call the Embalmer. This one's past his prime. <laughs> what are you even doing here? Show yourself. I've come to offer you the position of court alchemist to the Enchantress. Join us and her army of invincible knights. Oh. You don't say. Sounds important. Uh, invisible knights? Tell me more. <laughs> Boom. You are clearly not paying attention. Perhaps my scythe will get through to you. Perhaps. Alright, here we go. Take out Plague Knight. Oh, he's got a hologram. That won't stop me from slashing the right one. Oh yeah, we are working him. Spectre Knight is super good at bosses. Watch me die here. But I honestly think we got him. Oh, we got the wrong one! Pretty even fight. I gotta pick the right one. Is that the right one? Got him. Booyah! First try, no big deal. Sorry, Plague Knight. I actually really like you. You're probably my favorite character in this game. And sorry Shovel Knight, I know it's your game, but Plague Knight's so cool. So that was pretty nice, pretty easy. Let's see what happens here. Nothing. Didn't even hear from the Enchantress, what do you want? Alright, so, let's see what he has. The Dread Talon looks pretty good. That's worth 8 now? I thought that was less before, maybe not. What's Bounding Soul? Free a lost soul which reflects off surfaces. Huh. This is pretty good, you get health back here. Let's get this Dread Talon right away, because we have enough points for it. Ah, this Kirio is well guarded. Well, I can lead you there. We'll have to battle your way out. I think he said you will have to battle your way out. Sorry, 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 sorry. Alright, so this is the area cursed. We went through this last time for our other ability, which I forgot to use on Plague Knight. Dread Talon A. Unleash a powerful close range attack. Oh, that's cool. That'll be really nice for bosses, if I remember to use it. It's almost like Mole Knight's ability.
And you can do it midair. Alright, that's pretty sweet. I like it. Alright, let's give these guys a whole bunch of money over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You. You. Stop. Stop. Oh, he's a minion of Plague Knights. I want to see why he's here. Minion. The boss won't say much about our latest project. Keeps yelling something about essences. Who knows? Alright. Sounds good. Alright, so this guy and the other guy you have to donate to. And then I believe we will unlock something. Maybe I'll get a better cloak. So I'm gonna just give gonna give him a whole bunch of money. More money? State your business, abomination. Who are you? We are many. We like your gold. We like your cloak. Touch it. New powers. Yes, we cloak you in darkness. Sweet. Okay. So there's a bunch of cloaks in here. Let's read these over. This is our basic cloak. This is the cloak of Clemency. Lose will and darkness instead of perishing in pits and spikes. Drop less gold when you fall in battle. So that's like a basic one. Rail mail. An advanced cloak. Hold down when landing to grind quickly along surfaces and spikes as if they were rails. And dude. Dude. That is cool. Strikers. Shaw. Hold Y to charge then release a superior scythe. Swing. The Raiment of Risk. Break checkpoints to lower your max will, but boost attacks and regenerate darkness until you fall in battle. That's a risk reward cloak. And Ghostly Garb. Look more imposing and fearsome than ever before, but no effect. Okay, so we're gonna save up for this rail mail. And I can't remember. Are you are you selling me stuff too? Okay. Increase max darkness for one. Okay, we don't have any. Or we don't have enough money for that. Oh, there's a minion I did. Plague Knight said dinner! What's up, Plague Knight? Jeez, okay. And here's Creech. Says the same joke. Hello, fairy godmother. Hello, my friendless friend. If you have an ami- Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Dismiss. Ah! Climb, climb, climb. Oh, now we gotta climb all the way back up. Ah, stop! Stop! Stop. Let's climb up. Oh, we can just walk up here, I think. The Exploratorium is definitely our only headquarters. Yup, you can always find Plague Knight there. Can I? Because he's right there at my table. He doesn't ever leave and go anywhere, I really promise. Oh, wow. This minion is smart. Oh, it's you. I saw you slicing and dicing through. Juice on me. Stop talking to me! Okay. What up, Plague Knight? This tower, sir, is seeing a uh, uh, burst of activity lately. Business is booming. <laughs> oh, I'm having <laughs> a blast. Okay. I don't want to talk to you again, Plague Knight. Enjoy your time, though. Enjoy my table. It's like the Last Supper. Alright, this guy's going to give me something if I give him money. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna give him as much gold as I have. It's nearly full. Perfect. Feet accomplished. Spirit of giving. We be legion. Kyrios. Gold. Pay thee up. Powerful we make. Throwing Sickle, launch a boomerang blade. Upgrade passes through obstacles and recovers gold. I don't have enough for that, but that sounds awesome. Oh, I can 
upgrade my current abilities here. So the upgrade for this is resist interruptions and increases attack range. So this is an upgrade for my abilities. All right, I can't remember. What do you say? Oh yeah, that guy's getting fired. That's right. What's up, little crazy animal? Yep, yep. Meow. Yawn. This guy attacked me. And it says Mimic. I wonder if that's a direct tribute to Enter the Gungeon. Wait, what happens if I go up here? Stop it. Nothing. Okay, that's just a way around. Bam. Alright, so there's not a ton of upgrades like there was for Plague Knight. You can do the cloak. You can upgrade your abilities that you get from the Red Skulls, and that's it. As far as I see. So it's a little bit more simple, but it's still pretty cool. And I do like how the boss thing works in this. It's more like a Mega Man style. And it kind of just breaks the, I guess, reoccurring map that was going on and adds a little bit more freshness to the game, which is nice. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys all next time with more Spectre Knight.